Hey everyone, it's Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. A lot has happened since the Eurovision Song Contest 22 came to a close, so let's talk about it. The first thing I want to talk about is apparently Russian hackers attempted to disrupt the Saturday's broadcast of the Eurovision Song Contest, and that has been confirmed by Italian authorities. So what happened? First of all, in case you don't know, you didn't watch the show, Ukraine's Kalush Orchestra won the contest last night with the song Stefania. They won the televote by a landslide, which ultimately was enough to take the victory. During the voting, the Italian police cybersecurity department blocked several attempts and attacks, attacks on the network's infrastructure by the Kilnet hacker group, as well as its affiliate Legion, Pro Moscow hacking groups. Just so you're aware, back in February, and that was in the wake of Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine, the EBU decided to exclude Russia from the contest, so they were not in the running this year. As a matter of fact, we probably will not see Russia, as you can imagine, anytime soon, as a longer suspension is in the work. So this is what the Polizia Postale told ANSA. Various computer attacks of a DDoS nature directed at the network infrastructures during the voting operations and the singing performance were mitigated in collaboration with the ICT, RAI, and Eurovision.tv management. Identified by the CNI PIC, I don't know how to pronounce that, of the Polizia Postale numerous PC zombies used for the cyber attack. Apparently, previously, Legion, one of the hacker affiliations there, had called on other pro-Moscow hackers to try and bring down the official site of the event. So this is certainly a planned attack and not just something random. Um, even though the attack was thwarted, the EBU said on Saturday after the results came in that they noticed irregular voting patterns in the results of six countries and they were determined shortly after i will talk about that in a separate video but as it appears those two issues are not connected connected as it's more of a it seems as friendly voting or calculated voting patterns there but just so you know these two in incidents apparently are not related the cyber attack and those irregularities actually during the first semi-final a similar attack occurred as well but that was part of a a wider attack on a number of italian government websites and that resulted in some of them shutting down for quite some time i believe over an hour including the senate the it italy's upper house of parliament and the national health institute iss so the good news is they were unsuccessful. The results are valid. For the most part, we're talking about the six weird jury voting patterns in just a moment in a separate video. But it is still very sad that we are in the situation that a country that last year was part of the celebration is now coming after the contest in such ways. Certainly nothing compared to what the Ukrainians have to go through right now. But it is just a very unfortunate turn of events so goodness is we're fine the Eurovision results are good but I think this will have long lasting effects on you know the future of Russia in the contest and the EBU but I don't think that comes as a surprise even besides the whole hacking attempt but this is what happened uh, let me know what your thoughts are below in the comment section thank you for watching